just pass me an avocado? <laughs> Did you just throw an avocado at me? You told me to pass it. My back was turned. You're gonna do an awesome catch. When have you known me to catch something, be it awesomely or otherwise? Alright, that's fair. God, what am I gonna do with you? What are you doing? I'm not taking any more chances. That's a strainer. No, no, no. This is a helmet to protect me from flying food objects being thrown at me by my girlfriend. Yep, your helmet to protect you from flying food objects being thrown at you by your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Are you with that? It smells really good. It'll be done soon, all right? Um, tell you what, why don't you wash up? I'll start plating and I'll meet you in the dining room. Okay. Dining room? Couch. So, everything seemed great. It was. We would cook and play music and laugh. It was like we were on the same wavelength, you know? I'd tell him what was going on or what had happened with my day. And he'd listen. He'd really listen. So what happened? I don't know. I thought you were supposed to tell me. I can't just wave a magic wand and tell you what happened. As a relationship investigator, I'm just asking you questions to try to help you figure out what happened. Relationship investigator? That's what the sign on the door says. It's not a very good sign. Relationship investigator, not a graphic designer. You know everyone just calls you the love detective, right? Yeah, that sounds like a bad porno. So I'd like to keep it to relationship investigator if you don't mind. But you're, you're missing the point. I can't tell you what went wrong in your life. So just, just think back. When's the first time that things seemed off? It wasn't a big deal. I mean, he had a lot of work to do. But? But he loved when I played. Don't get me wrong, I am bad at guitar. You do that a lot. What? You start to realize something, and then you make a joke to deflect it. If you're remembering it now, it was important, and you must have noticed it then. I guess, but it didn't seem like that big of a deal at the time. But more and more, we would just fall into this routine. He'd get home from work, and I'd ask how his day was, and he'd just drop his bag and say, fine. And I knew it wasn't fine. Fine like when I want to watch The Notebook and you say fine, or fine like you want to burn down the building? It was work, right? It was work like... So, like The Notebook. I just, I just don't want to talk about it, right? What do you want for dinner? What do you want for dinner? Literally, every time, that's what he'd say. How'd that make you feel? Hungry. What do you want me to say? If I knew the answer to your stupid questions, I wouldn't be here reliving all of this. You know this is not your fault, right? Then whose fault is it? It's no one's fault. No one memory is going to help you figure out what happened. He said things, and you said things, but it's no one's fault. That seems convenient. So what seems more convenient? It's, it's no one's fault. Or being able to pin everything bad that happened on one person. So he hated his job and he wouldn't talk to you about it and then things ended. No, th that's the thing. Sam, I'm home, where are you? Oh my God. Where did this come from? Oh, you didn't see? The guitar fairy was just here. She's a total babe. What did you do? Okay, you caught me. I stole it. No, I mean it. I went down to the guitar store and I stole it. Work's been rough lately and I know I haven't been the portrait of a good boyfriend. And I just wanted to do something. I wanted to show you. I just wanted to do something for you. Thank you, it's gorgeous. I am totally Heath Ledger in 10 Things I Hate About You right now. When he sings, can't take my eyes off of you? No, 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 that's like in the middle, like at the end when he like puts the guitar in the Wait, what Okay, forget it. It was way too specific of a reference. How long? One week later. It's funny, I 
tried over and over to try to remember one thing I said to him or one thing he said to me and I can't, I don't remember why we were fighting, I don't remember what started it, I don't remember what day it was, all I remember is how I felt after. How do you feel now? You tell me. You're the fucking detective. Oh, so you're all better. No, I feel terrible. Okay. But do you feel as bad as you did on that day? No. Do you think you could feel just a little better tomorrow? No. Of course. No one gets to pick the day that they're gonna feel better. Recovery isn't a state of mind. It's a process. How does that help me now? Honestly, it doesn't. I'm sorry. Well, thanks. I feel much better now. But you do. You said you feel better now than you did the day that it happened. You're going through something that sucks. Breakups suck. When you're going through them, you feel terrible and everything is the worst. But when we look back, eventually you stop seeing them as an end and start seeing them as a pause, as a rest, before you find the next thing. Or maybe there is no next thing, and that's fine too. The only person you need to focus on in your life is you. Loving you is like a complicated chord progression. Loving you is like the laundromat in the rain. Loving you is like burning dinner on Thanksgiving. Loving you is such a pain. Thanksgiving, loving you is such a pain.